Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. We are 24 hours later, and I gotta get this video ready, edit it. But I want to show you cookie dough, frozen, solid. You get ready, to take it out. You just gotta take it out, divide it up, bake off what you want to do at that time, and. I put the baking directions, I don't know if you say or not, but yeah, I put the baking directions on the bag. 375 for 10 minutes. Done. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to store the fudge in the freezer until I'm ready to use it and distribute it and all that good stuff. I'm just going to take it. I mean, might help if I put you down, on it? Yeah. Get you repositioned. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just peel it off this thing. Put it in. Throw your container away. Hey, got it at the dead the tree. No problem, right? Now, I am going to store all these together. When I get ready to cut them, I'm going to pull them out, lay them out individually, and it's not going to be an issue. No, I'm not concerned about them on thawing and anything like that happening. Because I'm doing this so quickly. Oh my god. And there we go. You got it in one bag all together. Take the containers. Do not pay what Walmart wants for them. Just go to Dollar Tree and get them, and I'm telling you. The ones at Walmart crinkle up and curl up and all that stuff just as much as those do. So save yourself some money. Get the pants at your Dollar Tree. Alright guys, that is it. I'm going to give you a last look. The fudge, two peanut butter, two chocolate, and cookie dough. We will see you tomorrow. Hello guys, this is Trace with Scratch Kitchen and we're going to take all the goodies we made and make them for gifts. Let me show you how I'm going to set my bags up. Now, I do have some jam that I'm going to give as well. This is apple pie jam. It tastes just like apple pie. I am not kidding. This is a multi berry jam. Very, very good too. These were in the uh, ball cookbook. One of them, I can't remember which one. This is an orange marmalade. Delicious. Now, these are going to help support the bag. Keep it shape. Now, I have, what is, okay, I have a little block of the chocolate fudge. Put it in here. A little block. Of peanut butter fudge. Put it in. And I have one each cookie. Now this bag is for one of my cousins. She has um, she's had open heart surgery. So this kind of stuff really, this is all she's going to be able to eat of this type of stuff. And it's in the bag. Done. Now if you live in the north where there's a lot of wind, these jams are going to help keep your bag from flying away. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed Bakemas. I enjoyed it. I certainly hope next year I have more people to do this with that will put in their projects and share how they present stuff. Um, I will see you guys on January 2nd. Have a good, good holiday season. Merry Christmas. 
and wish you a very safe and happy new year. From my family to yours, happy holidays.